Hello guys. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add dine-in page into your app. First of all, you need to add dine-in page. Our dine-in page facilitates you to satisfy users' hunger by allowing them to book table at different restaurants present nearby their location. In our dine-in page, you can add menus, waiters, and manage other settings. On the app, users can see all the added restaurants and can choose any restaurant to check restaurants menu and book a table at that restaurant. As soon as users place places an order, a text message will be delivered to waiter informing them the specific table number guest has placed an order. In addition, they will also see call waiter and ask for bill option. A text message will be delivered to waiter's registered mobile number. When user selects Ask for Bill, a text message will be delivered to waiter that guest is asking for bill. With the end user's table number details, click on Add Restaurants button. Click on Proceed to Dashboard button. Once you are in Dine-in Dashboard, click on Add Restaurant button. Provide mandatory information to Add Restaurant like Restaurant Title, Email, restaurant phone number and address. You can also add a shortcut description for your restaurant in summary. From Add Media section, you can upload images or videos of your restaurant. From Cuisines, you can select the cuisines which you offer in your restaurant. Select number of tables and your restaurant will be successfully added. Now let's add menu of this restaurant from the manage, manage menu section. Click on add category to create menu category and provide category name. If you want, you can upload category image too. Under each category, you can create multiple subcategories, and under each subcategory, you can create multiple products. However, here I am directly adding products under category. Provide, provide product name, type, and SQU. Select yes if you want this product to be available for ordering or not. Under manage inventory field, you can select yes. If you can make product available instantly from your kitchen, choose no if product is in limited quantity. Provide product price and select units. Provide product description. Under product options, you can select add-ons for this product. Under title, provide product options title. If you want to make product options mandatory, you need to select yes in required drop-down. Sort order will be sorting order of product options in case if you have added more than one product option. Here you need to provide the product option value. It should, its price should add or subtract from the product price. Let's understand it with an example. As you can see here, I'm adding a pizza as a product. Product options title will be toppings. The first topping value will be pepperoni. Here I am assigning pepperoni topping price zero. Second topping value I am providing sausage price five. Price type add. So once user selects this pizza, it will ask app user to choose any topping, pepperoni or sausage. If user selects pepperoni, then cost will remain same. But if app user selects sausage, then plus five amount will be added to product price. Click save to continue. Here are several options like export CSV and export SLS. You, here you need to accept the orders and the status will be completed. Under general settings, you will see the general settings for this restaurant. You can provide the restaurant contact number address. You can change the opening timings and closing timings. You can add more opening hours and shifts. If you want, you can open or close the restaurant any day. There are several other settings that you can manage from here. Also, if you want, you can integrate fax, cloud printer, and SMS functionality. So if anyone places the order, you will get fax, print, or SMS. 
For integrating these services, you need to provide the respective keys. If you want, you can provide the default image. The same image will be shown if you don't upload any image in product or category. You can define rules like discount rules, tax rules, or miscellaneous rules. Click on Add Discount button and provide the required info to add discount rules. Click on, click on Add New Tax button and provide the required info to add tax rules. Click on Miscellaneous Tax button and provide the required information to add miscellaneous taxes. Under Coupons section, you can provide required info and create coupons. Select Administrator under Restaurant field. For Administrator, there are several advanced settings. Uh, time. It means restaurants will show according to the opening time. If payment method, you can select the payment options through which you want to receive payments. You just need to mark check payment method and provide the required information, like for integrating credit card via PayPal payment gateway or credit card via Stripe payment gateway. You need to provide client ID and secret keys. Click on the respective two-tip to check out at the uh, frequently asked questions to know the steps to get client ID or secret keys. Under language settings, we have provided the default text of the dining future. If you want, you can chart the default text from here. From the cuisine section, you can edit, add, or delete cuisines. Under the CMS page, you can upload the terms and conditions in our privacy policy. Coupon section is same as we have seen in previous sections. Under Manage Orders, you will manage the orders. Just to inform you, as soon as you create a restaurant, you will get a vendor credentials on your email, which you have used while creating the restaurant. So a restaurant or vendor can use it to log into their restaurant backend. Click here to go to Vendor Portal. Use the credentials to log into your vendor portal. This is your vendor's dining dashboard. The major difference is through the vendor dashboard, restaurant's vendor can only manage their menus, orders, general settings, etc. While from our creator software dashboard, you can manage any restaurant and some additional things too. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.